Hello everyone. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this video, I am going. I have chosen this question from uh, model question paper uh, one, uh, which is for uh, second semester 21 Mat uh, 21. Uh, as I have not solved in uh, model question paper, so right now I am solving this problem. So the question number two B use uh, double integration to find the area between the parabolas y square equal to 4ax and x square equal to 4ay. So they have given uh, two set of parabolas. We are required to find the area between these two parabolas. So before uh, sketching the graph, find the point of intersection by using the given curves. So the given curves are y square equal to 4ax and x square equal to 4ay. So from this, I will evaluate what is y. Y is nothing but x square by 4a. Substituting this value here, I am going to get x power 4 by 16 by a square equal to 4ax. Multiply 16 by a square to the right hand side, it becomes x power 4 equal to 64a cube x. Then shifting this term to left hand side, I am going to get this expression. Taking x as common, I got x equal to 0 and x cube minus 64a cube equal to 0. Solving this expression, we are going to get x equal to 4a. Now substituting these two values, x equal to 0 and x equal to 4a in this expression, I will get the value of y. So when x is equal to 0, y is what? 0. When x equal to 0, y is what? 0. When x equal to 4a, y is what? 4a whole square divided by 4a. 4a, 4a get cancelled. Therefore, y will be equal to 4a. So y is equal to 4a. Therefore, I got the point of intersection are 0, 0 and 4a, 4a. So now sketching the graph, I have considered the graph y square equal to 4a by 4ax. This is the curve called, this is the curve symmetric about x axis y square equal to 4ax. This is the curve and x square equal to 4a y. This is the curve symmetric about y axis x square equal to 4a y. The lines whatever I have drawn horizontally is region of x square equal to 4ay. Uh, the vertical lines are the region of uh, y square equal to 4ax. The overlapped region is the area we require to find out. This is the overlapped region. I have taken a new graph for that. This is the overlap region and the point of intersection is 4a comma 4a. This is the point called 4a comma 4a and this is the point called 0 comma 0. Then this when the x axis is uh, called as uh, y equal to 0 uh, and uh, y axis will be named as x equal to 0. This line will be uh, x equal to 4a and this line will be y equal to 4a. So knowing the curves, I am going to find the area now. The value of area is given by the formula. Area is equal to double integral over region r dy dx as the given curves are Cartesian curves. As the given curves are Cartesian curves, so we can write the area of that uh, uh, double integration is nothing but over region R dy dx or dx dy. Now I will consider the limit for y. Y is ranging from what to what. Let us see in the bounded region. So in the bounded region, the curves, find, uh, see the curves. So the curve, uh, see vertically y equal to, the y ranges from y x square to this curve x square by 4a, x square by 4a to the curve called y square equal to 4ax means y is what square root of 4a x y equal to square root of 4a x. So and the boundary of the region is x equal to 0 to 4a, x equal to 0 to 4a. Therefore after integration as it is 1 dy, integral of 1 is y with respect to y. So it is y limits substitute the limits upper limit minus lower limit. I am going to get square root of 4ax minus x square by 4a. So uh, now integrating this part, now integrating this one. So here uh, we can take out a constant term called square root of 4a. You are left out with root x integral of root x is x power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. Here 1 by 4a is constant, integral of x square is x cube by 3a. Limits 0 to x ranges from 0 to 4a. Substitute the limits now, upper limit minus lower limit. This 3 by 2 can be written as 2 by 3 times of uh, square root of 4a times of 4a power 3 by 2 minus 0 minus 1 by 3 into 4a. 
I multiplied this 3 with 4a. Upper limit that is 4a whole cube minus 0. So, 4a, 4a get cancelled in the second term. 4a, 4a, 1 times get cancelled. Here, square root of 4a can be written as 4a whole power 1 by 2. Bases are same. Add the powers. 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 is what? 4 by 2. 4 by 2 is equal to 2. So, that is 4a whole square. So, we are left out with 2 by 3 times of 2 by 3 times of 4a whole square minus 1 by 3 times of 4a whole square. So, it is nothing but 2 minus 1 times of 4a whole square by 3. So, that is nothing but what? 2 minus 1. 1 times of 4a whole square by 3. So, squaring this we are going to get 16a square by 3 is the required area of the given two parabolas. So, if you all like this video, kindly do subscribe to my channel and watch my previous videos for model question paper 1 and 2. I have solved fully question paper 1 and 2, model question paper 1 and 2. Thank you for watching. Thank you all.